Games New to Me. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, Rob here from Games New to Me, and today we got a little story. Um, with the announced release of Nintendo's classic NES Mini with its uh, loaded 30 games, Sega has announced that they are partnering with AT Games, or AT Games, I'm not sure how it is, to release their own system. Let me read you a little blurb from GamerRant.com. AT Games and Sega have partnered to release an updated version of the Sega Mega Drive Classic Game Console, Ultimate Portable Game Player. While the portable game player contains a USB charging cable and an SD slot, the console version contains the original, the original and working cartridge slot, two wireless controllers and built-in games, including some of Sega's greatest hits like Sonic the Hedgehog, Vector Man, and Golden Axe. The product is officially licensed by Sega. The device itself is actually developed by AT Games, a manufacturer who has previously released devices like the Atari Flashback and an older version of this Sega Genesis Mega Drive Classic game console. Interestingly enough, the updated version has decided to swap out 20 games f for different ones. Unfortunately, some of the games that have been removed are fan favorites such as all three Streets of Rage games, Echo the Dolphin, and Virtual Fighter 2. Surprisingly, the Mega Drive console does not support HDMI, instead relying on a single composite AV cable, something which was common with, the, with these older consoles back in the late 80s and 90s. This also means that the console will force high-definition televisions to handle all upscaling and image processing, adding a higher chance that, that that input latency will plague many of the games contained within the package. And that's credit to GamerRant.com. I don't know what Sega is thinking. If you're going to release a competitor, as it were, to the Nintendo Mini NES, you should definitely take a lead from Nintendo and put an HDMI cord on that. I'm not sure about all TVs, but many of them don't even have composite in anymore. Maybe some do, I don't know. But right now, everything runs off of HDMI, and I'm finding it surprising that Sega decided against this, or, or what was it, AT Games decided against this. Anyway, I'm going to have a full list of games for you in this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll see you on the other side to finish my thoughts. So there you have it, the full list of games available on the Sega. And um, once again, I got to question the reasoning for not putting an HDMI adapter on the console. Putting a composite three cable system, you know, the yellow, red, and white cables that plug into the back of your TV, that, is, that I have to believe that's going to hurt sales. Honestly, at this point in time, in 2016, I have to believe that's going to hurt sales. Time will tell for sure, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm interested in it. I'll probably pick it up. I'll probably review it, and I'll let you know what I think. But at the moment, uh, the lack of the HDMI is really going to hamper this one. Anyway, this is Rob for Games New to Me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Please like. Please subscribe. And please tell everyone about Games New to Me. Really appreciate it helps the channel, allows me to bring you more news, information, and commentary. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.